Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, so summertime is officially upon us, and I don't know about you, but my beauty routine changes a little bit during the summer months. So today, I'm gonna share with you my head-to-toe summer beauty routine. All right, so let's get started. One of the things that I love to do in the summer months is to get a pedicure, but an at-home foot soak is a great way to give yourself a luxurious treatment at home. So I'm starting with some river rocks. Those are great for massaging the feet in a bowl, and then I'm compiling my favorite ingredients for doing an at-home summer foot soak. So I love to add a rose. I actually had roses from my anniversary and I just think that they're really aromatic. It's pretty and it's, you know, luxurious. Then I'm gonna add some Epsom salt and Epsom salt is great for relieving tension and also swelling in the feet. So it's a great thing to use for a foot soak. I'm gonna add some warm water, whatever's comfortable for you. I like it to be on the hotter side. And then some vanilla essential oil. Now you can use any kind of oil you like, but I felt like the rose and the vanilla really complemented each other. I add some of my favorite body wash and then I also add some witch hazel which acts as an antiseptic. All right, it's time to dip those toesies and just let it soak for about 20 minutes. And how often do you actually get to give yourself a luxurious foot treatment? So enjoy it, put on some music, read a magazine, something fun. All right, then you're gonna add an exfoliating scrub. I find that the scrubs specifically meant for the feet work best because they are much stronger. So I'm gonna start with an exfoliating scrub. Then I'm gonna use a pumice sponge. You can find these for a few bucks at your local beauty supply store. It helps keep your feet smooth. And then I'm gonna take my feet out and let them dry. Now, when you're walking around barefoot in the sand or on the cement, it can be really harsh on your feet. So I like to use a really rich foot cream. And then I also like to use an oil. You can use any oil, even olive oil on your cuticles. And it's gonna make your feet look a lot more sandal appropriate. All right, so now let's talk about some summertime body treatments. For years, I never used a shave cream because I never thought that I needed it, but I was very wrong. For me, shave cream makes all the difference. I put it all over my legs, and I try to step outside of the shower or away from the water, and then I go in lines. And the reason I do this is because it helps me not to miss any hair, and it also provides a cushion so I don't cut myself. Next, I'm gonna exfoliate. Now, depending on the kind of exfoliant you're using, you might want to exfoliate before you shave, but this is a really uh, mild exfoliant from Laura Mercier. It's the coconut and almond milk, and it smells absolutely unbelievable, and it's perfect for summer, so I'm gonna exfoliate my legs. And then I have been doing uh, laser hair removal at home, and if you wanna stay tuned to the end to find out how you can win one of these, Stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna be giving one away. These are great and I actually have noticed a difference. I mean, when I get a chance to use it, I've noticed that my hair doesn't grow back as fast. And then I'm going to use Tarte Brazilliance. Uh, this is a great um, overnight tanner and stay tuned to the end to find out how you can win that too. All right, next I'm moving on to skin, hair, and makeup. I'm starting with Dr. Hauschka face cream for the day and then the vitamin C booster powder from Philosophy. You can add this booster powder to any moisturizer that you have and it gives it a boost of antioxidant and overall vitamin C brightens, lightens, and tightens the skin, prevents from hyperpigmentation, and it's just awesome. I'm gonna be using some sunscreen, obviously very important in the summer, the Neutrogena SPF 7D. I love these gel eye patches and occasionally I will wear them when I'm getting ready. Um, they just really help to hydrate and depuff around the eye and they're great if you put them in the refrigerator as well. So I'm gonna wear those uh, for 15 or 20 minutes and then I'm gonna use a detangler like this one from Suave. I love this one and it smells really good. And then I'm gonna put an oil on my ends. Now in the summer months, putting oil in your hair before you go outside um, or before you go swimming is really great for protecting your hair from the harsh elements. Chlorine is really hard on the hair and so is salt water. So an oil is a great way to keep your hair healthy. If I wanna blow dry my hair in the summer months, I'll usually use the cold shot since it's a little bit warmer outside. This also helps your hair look a little shinier. And I always blow dry my hair with a paddle brush just to get that really sleek look, which with my hair doesn't last too long um, because I have naturally kind of wavy hair. Um, but for this look, I'm actually gonna be pulling back the bang area, kind of falls in my face, and I'm going to be braiding a small braid. So what I'm doing is I'm taking three different sections. Obviously, that's what you do to make a 
braid and I'm twisting each section and then braiding them together. So it's a little bit of a tighter braid and then I'm just gonna you know, braid all the way down and pin that back. That's gonna keep my bangs out of my face. And also this hairstyle looks really great if you wanna put your hair up into a ponytail or a bun. It's uh, really transferable. I usually try to use primer in the summertime. It just really helps my makeup stay put. So I'm gonna apply that with my beauty blender, just tap it into my skin. And then I'm gonna do my normal foundation concealer routine that I do whenever I go out and wear makeup. Since my skin is a little bit more oily in the summer, I'm gonna finish it off with a skin finishing powder. So that's gonna help keep my makeup set. And I'm using this Tarte brush to blend it all in. And then for summer, I love to use a cheek stain. They're definitely a little bit more waterproof and they give you that really nice summer glow. And this is a beautiful peachy summer cheek stain by Tarte. I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara in waterproof. For obvious reasons, in the summer, it's best to go with a waterproof mascara. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use that to pump out my lashes. So last but not least, I'm gonna spray myself with the Pink Spring Break Passion Fruit and Hibiscus body spray from Victoria's Secret, which I really like. It's very lightweight, but very feminine and summery. And then finally, I'm gonna make a summertime refresher. I love essence waters, and it's really important to stay hydrated in the summer months, um, but I want something a little bit more fizzy. So today, I'm gonna be adding some fresh strawberries um, and some ice. I'm also gonna be adding some fresh mint, and I like to rub the mint together so I really get that mint flavor and add it to a mason jar. Now you can use flat water, but I'm gonna use sparkling water because I love Love it and it's a really yummy refreshing fizzy drink that is a great alternative to soda this summer because it doesn't have any sweetener so that pretty much sums up my summer routine, but I'm just really excited to enjoy summer. And I'm actually hosting a giveaway on this video for the Silken Flash and Go laser hair removal device that I used, and also six of the Tarte Resilience self tanners. So check the description for a chance to win. And leave in the comments below what you're gonna be up to this summer. I'm just gonna be chilling with my family and enjoying the warm weather, and hopefully you're gonna enjoy your summer too. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming and watching, and please hit the subscribe button if you like my videos. Also, be sure to check out my last video, my huge summer haul. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for all your support.